Hi, I'm Dan. And I'm Aidan. We're from Lycanthrope. You're listening to Collision on Voice FM. And right now on the phone, I've got from Newcastle in New South Wales, Lycanthrope. I've got Aidan and Dan, I think. Hi, guys. Yeah, how are you? G'day, Kat. Thanks for having us. Awesome. Thank you for answering when I said that. <laughs> I always have this second of nervousness thinking there's going to be no reply. <laughs> so, well, you guys are actually coming down to Victoria. You've got you going a few other places as well because you've just released a new single and video, haven't you? Yeah, we just released a new single video for Wasteland. Um, we're travelling down, coming down to Melbourne. We're going to be in Canberra. We're going to be in Bethlehem. Whoa. Yeah, so we've got a few shows on. <laughs> Pretty stoked about it. Awesome. Um, what's that noise? Hello? Hello, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. There's just some sort of funny beeping noise or something happening every now and then. Oh, okay, it must just be background noise. Sorry about that. <laughs> Behave yourselves. <laughs> well, <laughs> you guys are actually a rather large band. You're a six-piece, so how did you come together and have you always been a six-piece? Um, well... It all kind of started, originally we were a, a five-piece band with just the two guitarists, but um, over recent changes we just, um, yeah, we just decided to bring on a, a third guitarist and it just melded, like it just worked really well for us, so we've just decided to keep it and it's, yeah, it's worked really well for us at the moment. Well, how many times have you guys been out on the road as a six-piece and how big a band do you have to hire? Um, well... At this moment, we're kind of just travelling in a, a seven-seater Ford Territory. We're going to have a trailer on the back, and it's going to be nice and rough. But uh, this is probably going to be the first really out-of-state tour that we've done as a band. We've done, like, locally sort of ones where we've all travelled together. But, yeah, this is probably going to be the first big trip we've sort of done together. Yeah, it came to pitch the tent. <laughs> well, it should be a, a fun ride, a fun couple of weekends or a few weekends for you. But this revival that Wasteland is off is your second EP. So, are you guys working on an album? Yeah, we're actually um, in the process of writing for a new album at the moment. We've um, nearly got the number of tracks that we're keen to put on it. Um, however, like when you're writing, we we always try and revive, uh, sorry, go over everything a hundred times just to make sure that it's the um, right way for the band. Um, everyone has their turns at writing. Um, a lot of the um, riffs are sort of thought up between the three guitarists. Um, we're lucky to have Jason and Matt, who are both awesome. At Jason's a drummer and Matt is on the bass. They're both awesome at what they do, and everyone sort of works really hard together trying to get the um, best product that we can produce. Yeah, I can imagine actually trying to get six people to sort of agree on things must take a little bit longer th th than normal. Yeah, that's due to uh, that's why we've had lineup changes in the past. Not yeah. to rip on any of the guys, but um, the, I, I feel that the uh, lineup that we have at the moment is. Definitely our strongest, and we're hoping to keep it this way. Awesome. And, well, then, you are actually... Well, actually, let's talk about the single Wasteland and the video because you actually went to the bush to film that. So where did that happen and how did that come about? Um, it actually happened at our guitarist's friend, um, Scotty, our guitarist, his friend, Dad actually owns a property out at Taralba in Newcastle. And we wanted to kind of make the film clip sort of based around the song Wasteland, sort of have like that, uh, like, bushy sort of Barren wasteland, thing. yeah, yeah. barreny sort of wasteland -y sort of look. So just worked out really good. We saw a couple of photos a few months back of the property and, yeah, the spot that we saw we really liked. So we thought we'd, we'd shoot it out the front of that, had nice bits of dirt and dust and got all dirty and sweaty and 40 degrees mm. doing the video. Yeah. Good time. <laughs> but the video's oh, been really successful since it was launched. Yeah, it's actually done really well. It's 
blew our last video when we done our first EP, Limitless, in 2000, 2012. But, um, yeah, it's gone heaps further than we thought it would. And, it's, yeah, we're really... we can roll off that momentum. Um, we are thinking about doing another video for, um, for another track off the Revival EP. But um, that might just be a little bit of... I might have said too much there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll, I'll edit that bit out. Don't worry. Uh, <laughs> can I actually like? Well, I'm trying to. That was Aiden that was just talking last, then wasn't it? No, that was Dan. That, Dan. That was Dan. Okay, so Dan, what do you do exactly in the band? Um, I do the like yelly vocals. I attempt at doing some clean vocals. Um, <laughs> Heavily influenced by um, Corey Taylor and Slipknot and Jesse Leach from Killswitch Engage. So I, I don't try and copy them, but I try and add my own flavour and uh, go for that sort of melodic, brutal sort of uh, voice, I guess. Um, I write um, the lyrics, but all the guys have helped out writing lyrics. Uh, Aiden, Aiden actually wrote all the lyrics to Wasteland. So, and that, that's been... Uh, um, um, it's been pretty good for us. Um, <laughs> well, it's kind of funny you said that because you, when you do come to Melbourne, you've got two shows in Melbourne on the 21st of May. Uh, the first one is an all-ages one in the afternoon at Wrangler Studios with The Weight of Silence. And I do have your track Wasteland lined up and I have The Weight of Silence and then I have a Slipknot track after that because they've just announced a tour. Yeah, so I'm... Oh, I'm so keen for that, eh? <laughs> Aren't we all? <laughs> so then, Aiden, what do you do? You do the clean vocals, don't you, on guitar or something? Yeah, on two of the tracks on the, the new EP, I do the clean vocals, the sort of poppy, singy sort of guy. But yeah, I'm also <laughs> one of the three guitarists in the band. We kind of don't really have like a, a lead guitarist as such. We all swap and change. Some do like just basic stuff, some other people do like lead stuff and we just, yeah, we just rotate it around and everyone does a little bit of everything. Awesome. And you say the poppy, singy vocals, I've been saying they're the pretty vocals. Yeah, well, it's the same kind of thing, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> and, well, you guys are starting next Friday night, the 20th of May in Canberra. And then, of course, on the 21st, you'll be at Wrangler Studios for an all ages in the afternoon. And then in the evening, you're at Whole Lot of Love in Brunswick East. Yep. And on the Sunday, the 22nd, you're at Music Man Megastore in Bendigo. Yep. And then the following weekend, the 26th, you're at Valve Bar in Sydney, the 27th at your hometown in Newcastle. And then the 28th, you're in Wollongong at Dice Riley's, and you're at the Vault in Newcastle, I should say that, seeing as it's your hometown show. Yeah, yep. And so you guys haven't really played in Melbourne before? No, we, as this band, we've never really been outside of the, the state, so it's really, we're really excited to travel down to Melbourne. and We're keen to play with the Weight of Silence, so they're making a fair bit of noise down there, and we enjoy their music, so keen to um, share the stage with them. Yeah, and people, like, they get a chance to go and see you at either the All Ages or the 18 Plus, or they can actually do both. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So everyone should try it and get out there and do that. I'll tell them, sorry, uh, I'll tell people they can find you at facebook.com forward slash lycanthrope music. Yep. Is there something you guys want to say? Thanks heaps for having us on the show. <laughs> I mean, like, do you want to say something to the audiences who might come and see you or to, to grab hold of your EP, check out the video? Yeah, check us out on Facebook. Um, check out the Wasteland video. It's up now. Um, had a fair few views, but, like fair more than what we thought we were going to get. Um, but, yeah, learn the lyrics, come out to a show and sing along. That's the sort of show we like because we get to interact with the crowd. Um, hmm. More like more than happy to um, sit back and have a chat with everyone after the show. <laughs> Try and get to know everyone down there. Yeah. Spread some love. 
Well, your videos had about two and a half thousand views in the first two weeks. Uh, three and a half thousand in the first two weeks. So good on you with that. It's a great track. Awesome, thank you. Good luck with your tour. Thank you very much for talking to me. And, yeah, when I said to say something, I wasn't fishing for a a thank you. I'll make you pay for that after the interview. (laughs) (laughs) No, I'll I'll definitely be catching up with you when you come to Melbourne. Awesome. But right now we're going to hear your track. This is Lycanthrope and Wasteland, and we'll be back on Collision and I can't say the name again. I'm hopeless. Uh, El Elvate. We have it. Oh, Elvate. I don't know. We've got an interview coming up soon. Stick around. <laughs> 